kids welcome to another video and this one is going to accompany the story a christmas promise and you are going to use this piece of white construction paper that you got and we're going to draw um i don't know if you're going to do one character or two characters from the story and then we're going to paint with watercolors this was one of my favorite centers to do so you will have a list of characters to choose from um and some of the characters will need to be drawn with the paper this way uh the first character i'm going to draw or animal from the story is slippery green which was a snake and since snakes are long I'm going to turn the paper up and down, okay? So, here is Slippery Green. And first I'm going to use a pencil because if I make a mistake, I can erase it. And we are sketching. And to sketch means that we are just going to lightly draw with our pencil. Because if we are drawing and we make a little um, mistake, if we're sketching really lightly, we can erase the mistake. However, if you're pushing really hard and then you make a mistake and you try to erase it, ugh, it doesn't erase very well, okay? So we are sketching. And Slippery Green is a snake. And snake starts with what letter? So I am actually going to draw Slippery Green in the shape of an S. So there's my S. And now I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to draw on it this way. And this is his head. He is a snake. So I got to make it look kind of like a really wide V. And then I don't want to go all the way up to the next line and make him this skinny because all of the detail that we're going to do on, or I'm going to do on his back, um, will not be able to show up if I make him really super skinny. So I'm just going to stay about this far away from the other line. And I'm just going to follow the curves of the S that I already made. And then as I get towards his tail, I will make it a little bit oopsie i made a mistake but since i'm sketching i can erase it and you can't see it when i get towards his tail i'll make it a little bit skinnier there there's our slippery green and he'll have an eye over here and an eye over here and then i will paint his tongue with the uh with the watercolors so he has little triangles on his back and we all know how to draw shapes now so just gonna go down 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 little triangles triangle 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 and I'll probably stop here because it gets too skinny and I won't have, it'll be really hard to paint when I get that small. So there's the outline for Slippery Green. And next we will be getting a marker. Okay, after we've done our sketching, now we are going to outline the pencil lines that we did um, with a marker. And at school, um, you would have done this with a Sharpie, but not all of us have Sharpies. I actually don't have a green Sharpie, but I do have a green marker. So I am just going to follow the pencil line and go over top of it. I'm not making any new lines. But let's say you don't have a green marker, but you have a bunch of gel pens. I think this would also be fine. You could just trace the pencil with the gel pen. Okay. Um, but I do have my green marker, so I am just going to use this instead. I was just giving you another option in case you don't have that. So do the whole outline of the snake. All right. The whole snake is outlined with marker. So every little part that had pencil 
has been outlined with the marker. Okay, so after that, it is on to watercolors. So make sure you have a little cup of water, some watercolor paints. I'm pretty sure you guys all got one in your back to school kit and a paintbrush. Okay, I got my supplies ready. I have my watercolors, my water, and my paintbrush. So on slippery green, actually on any animal that you choose to do, and I'm demonstrating slippery green, um, I like to start with the lighter colors first. So his little triangle detail is yellow. So that's the color I'm gonna paint first. So I get my brush nice and wet, and I just put some water in it like so. Just dip it in the water, dip it in the yellow, back and forth, back and forth. And then just start swirling it around. So you're trying to make the color hydrated. Okay. So it looks like it's getting ready to use. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna check it out on this first triangle. Nice, so I, you can see how it's yellow. It's not too watery. It is kind of watery, but I'll just take some off. And I'm staying inside the green triangle the best I can. Okay, like so. And watercolors can last quite a while on the actual brush. So I did about four triangles with one dip in the paint. So I'm gonna go back and keep going until all the triangles are filled. Okay, get some more. Like so. Almost done with the yellow. Just get inside every triangle. There's my last one. Yay! Now that we're done with the yellow, I'm going to rinse my brush in the water and get the yellow off. Okay? Yay! Okay, so now I've already added water to this green, and I'm going to start with this green. See, it's all ready to go. But one thing that I wanted to kind of point out, too, is when I'm painting, I'm just using the tip of the brush. I know sometimes it can be a habit to kind of crunch it down like this and paint, but that will um, only make it look not very nice, and also it will ruin your brush. See how the bristles got all weird and wonky? So when you are painting with watercolor, try to remember to just use the end of the brush like this. I'm not smashing it down, okay? It's up. You have a, a way more control and it'll make your brush last longer. Okay, so I have this green and I'm going to start painting. So I'm gonna go around the eyes because those are gonna be last because they're gonna be black. And black is darker than green. So that is gonna be last. And I'm just gonna go carefully around and try to stay in my line. I need to get more. And watercolor is fun because um, a little goes a long way. So you, you can just see there's a lot of paint here. You can just kind of drag it really hard to do with one hand um you can just kind of drag it around okay and then let me get a little bit more paint on my brush you're gonna go around the triangles okay and then i'm just gonna keep doing this all the way to the end 
All right. So here is slippery green, all painted in with the one green color. And now I've, that's the color I used for the base. Now I activated this one, which is the lighter. And just kind of do a little bit here, a little bit there. Just add a little bit of dimension and color. It kind of makes it look cool. So it's not all one color, kind of highlighting, highlighting different parts of the snake. Okay. See, this part's a little dark. So just spread it out a little bit. All right. So all the green is done. The next thing I'm going to use is in between, at the bottom of every triangle, there's a little line of red. Okay, so I'm adding some water to the red. I'm not adding a ton of water though, because I'm just going to add, I did like two drops from the brush and I'm just going to work it, work it, work it. And that will make it come out really dark. So it's not super, super watery. So it's a little bit more concentrated. See that? And I hope I can do it with this brush. It doesn't have the best bristles, but we will see. And then you're just going to do... A little line oh it's working just a little line in between every triangle okay and we also need the red for his tongue so it's kind of perfect a little line at the base okay like that See how many I'm able to do with just one dip of paint. Two more. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to get a little bit more and I will do his tongue. So here's his face. Here's where his mouth is. And I'm just going to do a line down. And then a little upside down V. Try to... <laughs> All right, yay! And then the last color we need is black. I think it's this one. And again, with just like with the red, I'm just adding a little bit of water, but I'm really mixing it in so it's very concentrated and not super watery. Let's test that, perfect. And then we'll just do one eye and the other. And that is slippery green. All right. Go slow, have fun, follow my tips, and I can't wait to see them. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.